All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube, everyone live here with us on Twitch. The arena has officially returned with our two thousand dollar league series and of course i am more than happy that so many beautiful faces decided to tune in once again to watch some world-class mk1 gameplay with us janet cage released yesterday febs and i back on the menu febs what's popping brother i'm doing amazing i hope you guys are doing great as well and another day of qualifiers and let's see if we get some janet today because i'm excited for this character <laughs> man she's so yeah. fun I'm nearly dying here in the beginning. But yes, Fabs, that is okay. the perfect question we have to ask ourselves. So yesterday we hosted our only Janet Top 8. That means everyone was forced to play that character. But today we are back to our regular competitive event where money is on the line. Fabs, give me your honest thoughts. Do you think we're going to see Janet in competitive play as often as we do Chameleon, for example? um one thing about jenna for sure is she's really hard to like apply like everything you see on practice mode it's kind of hard to apply in a real scenario so it's all going to be Good about point. who can apply that the easiest or like the most optimally i think there will be teams where janet is the best cameo for that possible character yeah. one of them could be probably you know maybe quan chi maybe rain because they get a lot a lot of mileage out of um janet First. so and that is exactly why you're one of my favorite co-commentators here in the arena. This is basically the perfect transition because yesterday we saw some of the fanciest Janet gameplay so far from our very own Rotha. Rotha originally was planning to play here on stream today, couldn't make it. But the thing is, if you guys think that yesterday was wild, Rotha spent the entire night in the lab and he figured out some of the craziest combos I personally have seen so far. And we actually is, have really the really best is. of Rotha compilation ready here in the beginning. <laughs> Fabs, let's talk about it. And you guys on YouTube, you better watch very, very carefully. If you were a Quan Chi main, potentially, Rotha got some sauce. One minute of Janet combo action. Here we go. Am I right? Fabs, look at it. Like, look at the numbers chat. Rotha, this man has been cooking. 50, 55, and it's still going up. And we see the way he implements Janet in all these different scenarios. We see setups with portals. We see straight up damage numbers we have never seen before. This is interesting, Fabs. Yeah, like I said, it's all about if you can get the stance, the mimic stance online or not. And he was able to do that in this scenario. And she kills, man. She hurts. Rotha himself said that Janet might be the best cameo for Quan Chi for several reasons. She gives him very, very good defense options, setup options. And we saw it yesterday where Rotha absolutely dominated our day oh, yeah. one tournament. This is just wild to watch, in my opinion. These combos are insane, man. What? <laughs> look, look at the boy go chat. And this is the beauty of a potential new meta character. I don't want to say it like that because I still think that Janet is going to be very, very situational. I think that is the right word for us here, Fabs. But mm -hmm. you mentioned it. With the right main character, if you mix it up the right way, it might be a very, very strong combination in certain matchups or for certain, you know, strategies like more defensive gameplay. It's going to be great to see. But that is not the only great thing we have in the pipeline today. Since we are back to our regular $2,000 league, we brought five incredible sets for your Ooh. daily dose of MK1. And here are our 10 warriors. We start with Young Mercurich versus Soset. Character-wise, I expect Smoke from Mercurich, Ooh. his main character, and Soset. I mean, let's talk about it, Fabs. One of the best Gears players out there. Very strong Shao as a secondary, True. but I think we see the Sandman tonight. I hope we get the Gears as well, and I hope we see the Gears time freeze into like you know you can literally put the Janet Sento stands thingy when Garrus freezes you mm -hmm. and you can actually get a Garrus sandwich like Garrus on the right Janet on the left opponent in the middle you can get that so let's see that sounds, that sounds kind of nasty 
Can't wait to see if Soulset is maybe even bringing that combination. We have Faisal, our beast from the Middle East, Ooh. our peacemaker loyalist, at least in the last weeks, versus Monserac. A lot of smoke mains competing today on stream, by the way. Monserac on the other side. We have seen Monserac go crazy so many times in these events. Superfish already dropping a bomb on our asses here. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that so much. We're going to talk about that later on. We have a debut fight as well, Fabs, and I heard some rumors about this player specifically Kelso two times and people from the NA side of things reached out to me and said Rotha is crazy but Kelso is basically the NA Rotha counterpart and now I'm curious because in my opinion I have to say I know I'm not allowed to be biased since Rotha is one of our you know arena players but can Kelso play Quan Chi on the same level Rotha can what do you think Fabs do you think it's possible I'm not gonna lie, I think every Quan Chi player that I've seen so far plays differently. There's also a guy named Enzo that plays on the NA side, really really good Quan Chi. And he plays completely different from Rother, but it's, he, he, like, he still cooks people, I'm not gonna lie. So every time I see a new Quan Chi or like a new uh, type of sorcerer character, like it could be Shang or uh, Rain, and they play so differently from each they other do. and I would like yes. to see what you have cooking for me. Always beautiful to see different approaches to the same character, but of course we have Honeybee on the other side of this bracket tonight. Very hard opponent. I saw that Honeybee played a lot of Janet lately as well. Maybe even she bringing better. it to our event today. We have Goku as our third smoke main versus Raven Lina, oh who already had some crazy Janet sauce in yesterday's oh, yeah. top best eight. Set. That, that best set was that Raven Lina's yes. in uh, Yes, Nuji and Raven Lina definitely Definitely put on an absolute blockbuster show for us yesterday. And I heard that Ravenlina even refined those Janet combos a little bit more. Can't wait for it. And Ooh. last but not least, we have a PC set. Maxil versus DJ. Ooh, Two more sweat lords the... on this bracket, Fabs. I think this is going to be <laughs> a great night of MK1. And, as... and uh, the players are still... I've heard that there's some issues with like frame drops and whatever. I heard that doesn't happen anything here. Wait a minute. Girl. Mercurich is bringing the secondary in this specific matchup here. What is Sosa doing? What cameo is it going to be? I think this is basically a little counter Serena. war here going on. We go the to the B and B Serena. That means just Lord access Luke to Kane easy combo extensions, decent damage. Be you can never go wrong with past, Serena, actually. Not be pro yeah, Serena pretty much just buffs what you already have and just makes some situations Round better in neutral. Doesn't give you anything new but does buff your kit, which is something that definitely gives me. But you know what? Loud does not care about what you have in your kit because he not will launch you off any hit. One of the best armored options in the entire game. We say that every single time when we have Kung Lao on stream. It is just hella strong. I mean, let's be honest, Chad. We're looking for the opening for Kurich. The offense so far has been pretty, pretty strong. Here we go. Chris said knows that girl is not available, so takes his turn immediately. Big hit. This is gonna be. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold the drain. Is why I like the meter drain. That is a, a quite decent burger here. Forty percent from Soulset in round number one, but generally speaking, very close round so far. Oh, boss block. Both higher than. Oh, the fact that you have to guess and then he it's still a turn after because why not? Go a moment. It's beautiful. Absorbed it, but there's Goro sneaking his way in. Good throw from Soulset for the side switch. Guest first live. Oh, Pusa was up in the corner. Overhead. Literally. <laughs> no, the... no, that is good. That was just a great read because Soulset expected him to jump right after. I mean, a lot of Kuglao players love to jump anyway. So that pain or snap coming in clutch and a beautiful anti right after again here. That it's such a great right now, man. All these he's winning in, in future situations that again, another one. So much health that Mercury just lost. And he pretty much has to gamble between it. Either I go for my breaker or I start using the meter. And this is now what Kung Lao wants to be on. Oh, go the meter. One confirm. Goes for the low. So says 2 50 50, by the way, especially online. You have to guess in that case. And we just armor Ooh. out of that pressure off at Soulset. He doesn't want to deal with that Kung Lao up close. Beautiful round number one, and that's only the beginning today. I see our beautiful Holly in the chat. Everyone out there, welcome to the arena. Thank you so much for tuning in to another 
competitive event. And Khan is saying, who was last? Who was our last undercover pro? It was Kani Mani. Kani. A lot of people yeah. back then thought it is video games, yo, because of the general show gameplay. But it actually was Kani Mani. And the next undercover pro we're trying to get is an American pro player. Ooh. That's the only spoiler you guys get, though. I'm not going to say more. I'm not going to say character because then you guys, you know, I, I know our community. Rumors. Little detectives here. I talk a lot with the NA players and stuff, and they said there's this one player specifically that he has his main, that if this main goes unpatched, he will win pro comp and nobody can stop him. And I am <laughs> excited to see this. Oh, we got smoke. We got smoke invisible mix. Well, why not? Yep, Mercury is realizing Salsa is a quite strong opponent. That means we're going back to the main character. And that's the one I expected from the beginning. I don't know what Kung, that Kung Lao was about. Yes. So sad went to Arena because if he has to play against Smoke and he's invisible, he can do any string into the blade just to stall a little bit more and get that uh, invisibility to run out faster. Which is pretty smart. It's pretty smart. And there's one, there was one of the freeze frames the community is complaining about lately. I don't know what NRS did to the servers, but it seems to be a big, big issue right now. That there are these little lag spikes. It doesn't matter how good the connection is. It seems to be very, very constant throughout all platforms right now. Yeah, I mean, sadly, you know, they give you a new, um, give us something new in the patch, and they also put something bad. It's just how it is. Big punish from so sad, though. Nice block. Oh, Oh, Serena for the drain? No meter drain in here, okay. They come back! <laughs> so funny. Something this game really brought in, you know, these like rare interactions where someone is getting comboed and then the cameo just hits him out of it, you know? It's something you would never expect in a game like this. But we got mix. Striker after the nerf is not as uh, present anymore, you know. A little cooldown buff. Oh, can he confirm it? Oh, he does. Wait a minute. Mercury. One mix into Fado. Let him cook, Faps. He's one mix into Fado. Oh, that's gonna kill. Clean after Fado. And that is smoke the damage. <laughs> the main is the right decision at least right now Mercury able to tie it up Smoke. versus so sad and the main question since i personally don't expect a character switch from so sad's end we might see a different cameo you could see a different cameo indeed Let's see if um any changes, any adaptations in here. Gears, striker, Serena. No switch at all from Sosa. We believe in the power of Gears, Serena. It is the good old reliable. You know, the, the day one came here for everybody. It was it was pretty much Serena. Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh, blocks the mix, takes his turn. Boy, this is tough. With the meter turn. This combo <laughs> almost takes a whole bar of meter, man. It really does, From yes. And right now, so set in the driver's seat. Did you see the corner carry of that? That was insane. One more guess and Mercury is, is, is done. And clipped him right out of the teleport attempt. Right. That was great. Mercury tried to get right. out of the corner because, right. let's be honest, you don't want to be there. Not versus Gears. Didn't work though. Cinder, thank you so much for another gifted sub here towards our new undercover pro event. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And I am so hyped to see the reaction when we reveal who that undercover pro is. That's going to be crazy, man. I hope it is what I'm thinking it is because I've been so much fun. <laughs> Time freeze. Oh, we eat rain as well. Once again, Soulset wants to steal all these resources from Mokoric. I mean, the best, like one of the best uh, tools that Striker gets smoke is pretty much the ability to go into visibility on block. You know, it's, it's, it's really strong. Oh, wait, he almost died for that.
Oh, he punished him from recovering from his clone. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Am I like a 45? If this is 50 damage, I don't know what the hell smoke damage is on about, but I think it's really a 45. Should be. I, not, I can never guess the fatal damage in this game. Oh, I feel you on that one, Fabs. 45% of damage. Mercurish goes for the perfect meaty right after. And that is going to be another tight match here in match number three. Thank you guys so much for the support. Kiel dropping five gifted subs after I said that I'm going to be the undercover pro this time, Fabs. The people, they seem, it seems like they want to see that. The shout. The commentator undercover pro. It's just the whole time. Your special is DQing them from the game. <laughs> oh. You can tell how Mercury is being really careful in neutral. Oh, it gets opened up this time. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, let me take you for a ride real quick. And again, oh, he hit Striker. Hit Striker goes for another throw. Mercurich feeling the pressure, tried to jump on Wake Up, and that didn't that work out at all. There it is, Fabs. Mm. Playing really well. So that even though I feel like most another Gears players don't really like the smoke matchup because of how he can get into like he uses Striker to cover his gaps, you know, in uh, big damage as well, and uh, invisibility is a big problem for Gears because his armor kind of sucks. So. That is, um, doing a good job I here. saw that Sosad actually made a tweet about that and a lot of Gears mains, for example, Seas, another example, they say that in the current meta, Gears seems to struggle quite a lot. I'm not sure about it, but let's be honest, I'm not a competitive player. I don't have that much technical Gears. knowledge about matchup charts and stuff like that. But all the Gears men, Smoke. they say that the character is Sorry. not even close Sector. to top 50 in the current meta right now. I don't know if it's downplay or if there's some truth behind it. Facts. I mean, he was kind of relying on Lao Hat to yep. keep his hourglass like one bar tele uh, breaker all the time. So Lao Hat getting nerfed was a pretty big hit. It was a big, big problem for Gyrus. Oh, the Sector for Mercury. I like how a lot of players try to implement Sector into their uh, playstyle. It's just that Sector seems to be that cameo that suffers from the cooldown in my opinion. I make the call right now. If NRS decides to buff Sector with the next patch, this cameo can become top one. Yes, <laughs> it could be either the startup frames or uh, cooldown to, to make Sector broke. Might be like a startup animation, might be a bit faster for next patch. You heard it here first. But are we actually starting with a game five here in today's event? Mercury is fighting for his life. In the meantime, Soulset with a quite decent life lead available. Soulset is playing does not want to be any longer in this set right now, man. Ooh, gets clipped by the overhead. That was good for you for Mercury. Goes for the reset, I like that. Sneaking in that overhead with the safety of Sector Rockets in the back. Another low opener. Oh, but that needs to not break for this, isn't he? That's the win in neutral one more time. Ooh, whiff punish. You're whipping, you're whipping, you're whipping. Can't connect. But here, the extended range on that sweep allowed Sosa to get another round. We are on match point. Up. Oh, that could have been punishable. Single button cancels. <laughs> Mercurich breaking his controller. These single button cancels are crazy, man. Good he probably punish. would have preferred if he got hit. Another sector. Here we go. Oh, getting clipped. He went for mix after that. Oh, pretty, pretty dangerous. Ooh, what the hell was that? That is beautiful. Is armor into Sector? That is just ridiculous. Mercury firing on all cylinders here. Oh man, this was, Mercury just had like the longest sequence in the world and <laughs> so like, couldn't stop it, bro. Just couldn't stop it. Fight. And once again, the reminder oh. for you, Fabs, Mercurich, one of our youngest players in the arena, 15 years old. That is just incredible how much talent there is in the new generation. Doing all these cancels, man? God damn it. My, my, my fingers have been broken by now. Oh, so said is like, I don't care how young you are. I am going to send you home. 
Sosa taking him for a ride, throwing him in and out of the corner. Look at this damage. Another 34, another opening. Mokoric decided to block with his face. That drop was dangerous. We blocked the armor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Technically, if he wins two sequences, it's a fade off. Um. Fats. Flawless block. Oh, he's fast, fast. Tries to go for that overhead. Still pressure on top. Oh. <laughs> no way. No, this, this is no way. No, this is this is one of the craziest, one of the craziest comebacks I've ever seen. Wait, nothing. Wait, 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 wait. The scaling. Not over yet. No way. Nope. Get away again. I can't. I can't, Fabs. That was so dope from Mercuridge and but in the end, it was not enough. Just didn't have enough HP left. I thought that Fatal Blow would have killed it. I thought Damn, so too. everybody has a, the, the, the Ashra, the Kenshi Fatal Blows, huh? Wow. That, that, was that was a crazy. That was a heartbreak. But I have to say, a wonderful start in my opinion here for our MK event tonight. Soulset and Mercuridge putting on a show for all the MK fans out there. Thank you guys so much for playing and of course, congratulations to Soulset for securing another Arena W. More important, man, that top 32. Also, something I would love once you get crossplay is that one single leaderboard. Imagine how sweaty we're going to get like our, our players, like that whole... Oh man, this is crazy to think about. I'm literally, I'm literally about to salivating thinking of it. But anyways, set number two, the beast from the Middle East is going to be right here. Fence. I think, I think he's going to bring us to Janet. I don't care you think what so? character you're playing. Give us Janet, Faisal, please, okay. please, please. Faisal, if you're in the chat with us right now, we speak for the entire community. We all want to see some Janet sauce. And we know that Faisal is a man of honor, Fabs. We are definitely not trying yes. to convince him here in front of everyone. Let's take a look, chat. Players are here. Monserac, another smoke man. Going Quan. I like that. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to lie. These Quan Chi players have been showing up on the radar lately. Wait, I'm seeing chat say he doesn't like Janet. No. Oh, my heart. There's Peacemaker. Booyah. I see Janet. Is oh, Faisal doing it for the people Serena. out there? Wonder I going Serena. Faisal. Do like it. Serena against Peacemaker? Janet. He does it. Faisal, oh. the beast. He is back. And, and I know that he is doing that for all the people out there so who want to see the new you. cameo edition in a competitive space. Faisal, thank you so much. Showtime, thank you so much for the resub as well. And now, let's go fast. Oh, the double projectile? This is one of the This off screen projectile from Janet is crazy. Zone of waste. I mean, uh, that's fear, by the way. Yeah. The one that you can't really go close to him, he's going to fear. Pretty cool knowing that all the names do make sense. Little oh, Markiduck, Monster Egg with the perfect reach here. I think you could OS that string though. I think it's not a real mix. Perhaps correct me if I'm wrong, please. Unless he has Striker. The Striker does throw the grenade, you know, and it's I mean, it is OSable, but it's really tough to get. The Striker. Yo, combos? Force field. Eagle. Oh, Girl. you try to arrest that mix? Minus six, not punch. Minus six, not punch. That puts you plus 15. Or what? I mean, 30 plus, I think. But now here comes Monsterrack cooking something. There is the jail, my friend. Feature uh, a player from Liga Latina won regional finals with this team of Quan Chi and Serena, by the way. So. No more downplaying here a lot, because this team is definitely crazy. Oh, wait, what you guys are doing like a low or something to stop him from pressing. Oh, that was cheeky. Yeah. That good old standing throw from Quan Chi. It's like we forget that Quan Chi does have the full screen button. Oh, he's jumping the cage. <laughs> Faisal is just flying around the screen right now. That's going to be the round though. Monzerak. I made you my slave. He's trolling. 
Force field. Torpedo. Oh, man. Eagle. He's one knockdown when we get Janet online, pretty much. Oh, yeah, that's what he's looking for. Here we go. Oh! Oh! What? What the? Oh! What? Fabs! What? What is this? Oh. Excuse me! It's a bubble of Fabs! Hello? No! No! Alright, that might be overkill. Peacemaker. Yeah, chat! Our chat is going crazy right now. I'm I'm always so sad because the YouTube community, they cannot see our live chat. What the hell was that, Faisal? Oh, oh that was beautiful. I love this. I love this. Perhaps we, we have to record the face here for the for the YouTube thumbnail. Do it right now. On three, two, Quite one. Cheese. Janet Cage. So We're a true YouTuber fan, Do you too. realize that? that we are a real thumbnail. Faisal is cooking chat. Can, can we get some EOS? The reset jungle fight. It was crazy, man. Oh, now I'm hyped to see more of the planet. I'm not gonna lie, man. Every time I see someone in the corner with the mimic stance into like something, it's just a 50 burger, like a crazy situation combo. It, it, I love it, man. I love it. Faisal is showing us why he is up there alongside the best players in the entire world. The way he can pick up new characters just like that. What the hell is this conversion? Oh, the wake up. Force field, eagly. Not enough for Monstrag. He gets it. Oh, that's that a big a punish. punish. Yes, Wait. big recovery oh. frames. And Faisal, there is Janet. The block string. This block string. Oh, they didn't come out. <laughs> the empty eagly. Oh, just the down two. We are back to MK11 again. Just doing it on block, that was a rough read from Faisal, but worked out. What the? Oh, full screen. Oh, it's his building. I, 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 I like how Jenny kind of resonates with these figures. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's literally, literally expected. Unless he flaws blocks it, that Final torpedo round. will come. Fight. Force field. It's a gravity. Oh, we can convert from that! Oh, the portal oh, saved Monster Egg here in that case. Oh, no, 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 no fear. Keep it safe. Force field. Smash to black. Force You're playing neutral right now. Wait a minute. It's a gravity. One more coming. He's respecting all three projectiles, by the way, so it's pretty, pretty important that he, uh, just, just hold blocks for life whenever Janet is out. Oh, he punished him. I think he's kind of lucky using his striker route. He doesn't have striker to do that, though. It's available. One at six. Ooh, that will do it, isn't it? Oh, so what was it? That is gonna be it. We officially have a match chat. Monserac tying it up. And a big shout out to more than 400 people live with us here on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for the support and for spending time with us every single day. We are trying to unlock another Undercover Pro event for this Saturday, actually. So... Thank you for the generosity, for supporting all these special events we try to host here with and for the community. It's going to be a wild ride. That's a promise. Yo, Guchmo, what's up, everyone? So enjoy killing you. I didn't expect that corner combo from Faisal. <laughs> I want to be honest with you, Oh, first. yeah. That was one of the highlights of today so far. Came out yesterday. People are already doing these crazy combos, man. Oh, oh, oh! Look how he's walking. <laughs> he's getting juggled. 
I love this. Oh, the opening. Wait, we might get Mimic Sense, aren't we? Mimic Sense? Oh, no, he's gonna kill, maybe. He killed. <laughs> the boy, he is on a mission. But he doesn't even let us, like, all this? Round yeah, subscribe what? to his only torpedoes. You're like, oh, maybe he's gonna go for setup. No, why setup if he can just do a 48% time? Monzerag again fishing for that standing four, but you have to be careful with it. Super punishable, and a lot of characters have tools for it, even full screen. Force field. Oh wait, this, this is enough I think. Extending the combo here and once again Faisal is closing it out with style chat. Let's see Batman do that. Peacemaker. I'm very very impressed. Please don't forget it is only one day after the official Janet Cage release day. And man our players are cooking. Wait, let me recheck if we lost Fabs here on the way. Fabs, are you still here with us? Oh no, chat. Chat, we lost we lost Fabs. Can we get some big Fs in the chat? <laughs> the chat is saying Fabs is gone. Round one. Fight. Two one. Faisal on match point. And that gravity pulling him back. That's the Quan Chi sauce. Force field. Mixing it up. Minus six on block, by the way. The Janet nut punch. Force field. Hey, what's up, Rip? <laughs> Yo, Robo, where are you coming from all of a sudden? Hey, I figured out this. Fill some of the dead air to uh, a <laughs> fast. Right, what's up? Uh, how y'all doing? A big, big shout out to my boy, Robo. Thank you so much for jumping in, Robo. Robo, what do you think of Janet so far? I think it's a great addition. Honestly, a puppet cameo, very, very interesting on paper. Uh, yeah, I honestly haven't seen too much of her other than what little bit I caught of your all Janet tourney yesterday. I mean, oh, she seems nice. strong for sure. I know everyone on Test Your Mind is freaking out about her. <laughs> But wait a minute, I see our boy Fabs here in the chat as well. Fabs, are we back, baby? Oh man. Hi Robo, I hope you're doing well. Hey, welcome so, back, Fabs. Quick background. If you're living in the country I'm living right now, and it's raining, like right now, the power just goes out for like a minute or two and it's, 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 it's Not like this, Fabs, but you made it just in time for another crazy Faisal combo here in the corner. Still going! Breaker in time. Please whip on it from Monzerak. You get more though. Oh, that trade would have killed him. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Game almost five? Don't show. Oh. Oh, man. We have that fatal. I don't see Breaker. He doesn't even need a chat. Faisal on match point. Final Clutch. Round. That was crazy. Fight. Amazing, am I right? Eagle. 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 Eagle.
crazy. Oh, that's gonna hurt bait. Oh. He can shot if he wants. He's next to the corner as well, isn't he? The way Faisal just walks him down, there's the Eagly in neutral, and this is gonna do it. Right into the brute. Let's see Batman do that. Brutality. Faisal, he did it again. This man is an absolute sweat with every single character. Faisal, thank you so much for bringing some Janet Cage gameplay here to the arena tonight. A big, big shout out to you and Guchmo. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the community while we are getting ready for our NA exclusive showdown. The next match, Ooh. The Prodigy. People told me some rumors about Kelso. Apparently a very, very strong Quan from the NA side of things. Does he have what it takes to beat Honeybee, Fabs? What do you think? That's the thing, right? You're going up against Honeybee and like, I don't, I'm not familiar with your game, you know? It's kind of it's kind of tough to predict the situation, but if the matchup is Quan versus Reptile, I don't even think like how, how does Reptile play that matchup? In my eyes, I don't even know. Both of them have like hella gaps in their strings. Both of them kind of struggle in neutral against the tools that make each other strong. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm and excited. If brings us to Janet. Ooh. Does Reptile Honeybee, Janet? I mean, Honeybee posted some Janet tag on Twitter with Reptile. So let's see if he's gonna do it in our $2,000 league today. A big shout out to Kitty Khan. Thank you so much for offering the prediction to the community. And now all eyes on Kelso. He is here with us, chat. Let's go crazy. Can we get some AOS? The character that I will never get tired of it has to be Quan Chi. It just has to be. Quan Chi is, in my opinion, so entertaining to watch because the character has so much death, right? Um, I mean, you have yes. so many different approaches. You can play him in a very offensive, very defensive way. But now, of course, I'm super excited because people told me Kelso Rota. is Rotha's counterpart from the NA side. And you know that I'm a big, big Rotha fan. In my opinion, the best Quan Chi in the world right now. So let's have a look how this one is going to turn out. dead before I ever met Shang Now, hold on a minute. Kujanko and Frost. Fight. They're pretty much DLC characters as well. I don't get to see them as much. But what does Honeybee <laughs> know <laughs> that I don't? He's Is making Shujinko because of Quan Chi. Honeybee, I don't know if you saw the post from Ed Boon, but he said the Shujinko buffs are coming later. They are not live yet, Honeybee. I think you got the wrong memo. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Get, okay, get the reset off of that. I like it. Not much damage, though. Ooh. You get bone cage, you get that's crazy. You get bone cage against <laughs> one of the best moves to steal. There's a side switch, Shujinko chilling in the back. Here is the armor from Kelso here in the arena for the very, very first time. I like that. Something I know as well is that if other Quan Chi player has a purple portal. And Honeybee uses Shujinko's skull as Quan Chi. His skull gets amplified, gets buffed by the other portal. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy, but it works that way. I hope you guys understood what I meant, but yeah, it's, it's dope. Quan Chi's buff amplifies. It doesn't anymore, it was a glitch. Oh, no. NRS, NRS. That was really fun to see that. Anyways. Oh. Oh! Honeybee, <laughs> Honeybee might be the master of Jujinko. Oh, he is feeling it, chat. Honeybee! Brutality. Reptile wins. <laughs> the chat is already asking for a beef set between Rotha and Kelso. Maybe we make it happen in the long run. Thank you guys so much for being here. Fabs, it is unbelievable. I mean, we have close to 500 people in the chat with us. Everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for making all these events possible. I see the boy Ketchup or Mustard here in the chat with us as well. Of course, trying to steal some more Quantec from the community. One day we need them in these events as well, Fabs. Yes. Ketchup needs to show his Quant in the arena, man. 
I think it's ketchup because he just corrected me on something that I said about Chujenko Quan Chi and he knew it immediately, so it has to be ketchup. Oh, ballsy. Something I don't see as much though is Frost with Chujenko. I mean, Frost with um, Quan. Oh, big whip. Try to arm oh, he knew it. I like that attempt from Kelso. Do it, honey. You just faster with it. Also, look at this life difference. 1100 versus 900. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is oh. crazy. I think he likes that block string. The kick into the skull. It might be safe on block up close. That's why he actually likes it. Because it covers his gaps. Oh. I honestly oh, no, think oh, this oh, is oh, the oh, first oh, time I see Quan Chi paired with Frost. Oh, this is, he, he can't move. Oh, he can't jump. Okay. I thought he just couldn't press back with the uh, orb into the teleport. Oh, the way, oh. the way Honeybee is spaced here, or outspaced, Kelso rather. That was great. The way he ran, ran across the screen to get the punish. These two characters can be all over the screen with like uh, one move. Teleport. Oh, he goes for it. Is it going to work? Almost. Oh, that's gonna be punished. It combos. Oh, that is so good. Wait, he, yeah, he's dead. That is all Honeybee. Right now, feeling very, very comfortable in this particular matchup. 2 0. We are officially on sweep point. Reptile wins. You get Bone Cage Hick confirms with this team. I like it. And as a little spoiler for the community, after this, we have Raven Lena back in the arena. And Raven Lena already confirmed that we're going to see some Janet gameplay versus Goku. And then last but not least, PC League Showdown. Max Seal versus DJ. He's on your hands. They were dead before I ever met Shang Tsung. Round one, fight. I think Honeybee tried to start with a very hard read here. Oh, this is going to be big. Yeah, press. Portal is up. He backdashes. I like the awareness from Honeybee. And that mix was so ghetto, but it worked. That health almost gone from Honeybee. Kelso is now trying to play the spacing game, but that's easier said than done, especially versus Honeybee, such a great neutral player in every fighting game. Ooh. Ignore the armor, Honeybee does not care. <laughs> bone cage, he confirm. Into a uh, Jujinko resting as well, you can low key loot bone cage. What the? Honeybee, Yo. Honeybee, Yo. you have to Yo. relax, bro. Ick, skull? I knew that it. That is so wow. disgusting what he's doing. So Round he can basically hit confirm fight. into either Bone Cage for that 50% combo, or if he blocks, Skull pretty much. That sounds crazy. Cool. Honeybee right now was playing out of his mind. Shujinko is just chilling there while his homie's getting beaten up. Oh, he converted that. Oh, I jinxed it. That was good, though. Here comes Kelso, but it has a very long road ahead of it. Reversal 3 0 versus Honeybee is needed to win this. They're going back and forth, I'm not gonna lie. It's just that uh, Honeybee's surprising Kelso with the Shijenko, that's for sure, I would say. From that far, you can. Wow. How nerdy do you have to be? to find out that the optimal cameo versus Quan on this specific matchup is Chujenko. Honeybee is just... What, what a juggle! I didn't even know that's possible, Fabs. Oh, that is... Oh. No, Honeybee. I'm, I'm not sure if that is allowed here in front of everyone. 3-0 sweep versus Kelso, who played for the very first time in the arena. What a match. GG's.
I think this should be like a, like a night opener. So all of you guys at my struggle versus Quan Chi, see if your character can play Sujenka on this matchup. Cause, cause damn, you got 100 HP and you also get that bone cage taken from, which is pretty important. During this match, the community let us know that Honeybee always plays that particular loadout, Reptile Shujinko versus Quan Chi. So there is some decision making behind that. Wow. But Fabs, we have to talk, brother. Coming up next, another smoke. But this time we have Raven Lena back, who showed us some maybe the craziest combos with Janet so far alongside Nuji in yesterday's top eight tournament. Oh yeah, man. They went back and forth yesterday. It was honestly one of my favorite sets to watch on, on this game so far. Invites are out to both of them. I'm curious to see what characters we're going to see specifically in the last match because Maxiel is one player who can play a lot of different characters as well. Kenshi is one of them, Fabs. Yes, I said it. Yes, yes. He goes Kenshi Darius. It would be cool if he has Kenshi Janet because I haven't seen it. Uh, people use it that much, but it would be cool, it would be cool, it would be cool. <laughs> Let's take a look at our chat prediction together. And of course, Raven Lena as one of our viewer favorites right now in the lead. 90% think that Raven Lena is going to win this. Janet Cage, Chameleon. I see Janet. Okay, oh. the two newest additions, Janet and Chameleon. You are the double mother. Janet. I'm so His happy that this cameo is getting good reception. You know, it, it, it's, it's being played a lot in comparison to like, you know, Tremor. Barely anybody played Tremor. Round so, one. I like this. Janet time. Oh, big whiff. As here comes Goku, another very offensive small player. Oh, sir. The ball roll. Oh, yeah. The chameleon is like a snowball type of cameo where you get a hit and then it switches to like something your opponent's not ready. Bam, 18 frame overhead. You die. Good matchup knowledge. Great reaction time as well from Goku. Good tech, I like that. Fight. Yeah. And it's tough to play neutral against this team I'm seeing right now. Nice up block, and there we go, mother time. And here comes Ravelina. Look for setup, yes. What the? Oops. Beautiful. Again, Goku decides to just armor out of the pressure. Oh man, poke into 18 frame overhead. And now we are one mix away. And there it is, the low. Okay, can't fully get the hit. Try to press when he shouldn't. Raven Lena is on the board. Final round. Five. Raven Lena, one of the two Katana players that loves going for that uh, EX fan on block. <laughs> Didn't come back. Yo, patience. Restand? Oh, this makes time. Yo, he staggers. Goku seems to be like 100% like correct in his armor call so far. Very solid reads from Goku. I agree with that, perhaps. The new stuff. Oh, this respects. That is a big whiff, and he recovered in time. It's, it's a smoke thing, man. Because that was quite a quick answer from Raven Lena. Ooh, barely catches the wake up, and that's gonna be death. 
That is it. Raven Lee now takes it. We are still going. Flexing at the finish screen. Oh, that is... Oh, that is just good. Kitano wins. I don't know what's wrong with all these Edenian... Why do... Does every Edenian player has the fanciest combos ever, Fabs. Like, literally, th there is they a pattern. Know. Literally. <laughs> they play the game so beautifully, you know, <laughs> these combos and these guys they go for. Janet Cage, Chameleon, hanging Someone in the chat just uh, said, where is Just Nasty? And then random thing and is saying, he is getting ready to be the undercover boss at Rips tournament on Saturday. Wait, oh. how do you guys know? No, I'm just kidding. It is oh, not God. Just Nasty. Or maybe he is. Maybe he is. He's gonna take him out. If they see a smoke player playing Scorpion and punishing projectiles, they they gonna know it's him. It's not that undercover, is it? <laughs> oh, that's so that is literally unblockable. There's no way you're blocking that. Goku, patient, now try to press. This is a good grab. Raven Lina not able to take in time. Oh, the opening. You cannot be, like, trying to move in that sweet spot from Katana. Ooh. They are not as easy to convert. That is a great caller from Raven Lina. Can Raven Lina kill? What he gets it. Oh, that would have been a that would have been a big burger as well. <laughs> the opening again, the same situation from like the last hit he got. Man. The throw, the throw reset. Beautiful. We got one more Janet call. Ooh, ooh. Same situation. Another throw reset! Rip, what are we watching right now? What is this? Ravelina is going crazy in front Ooh. of everyone. What the hell no, is that what? performance? Was that like almost pretty much touch of death? Because it was two throw resets. Kitana wins. Chat, chat, dude, tell me you caught that. And now we know why Ravenlina is one of the favorites over there on YouTube. That is just so fancy. You see what I did there, Fabs? Fan see? Okay, never, never mind. I was so proud. No, no one said anything. No, literally, no one in the chat caught it. Oh man. But yeah, that situation that uh, Kisana's been doing it's been like a, almost like a day one tech where you throw the trap and you go for a grab, and the grab counts as a hit. So if you try to armor, you get armor broken. The best way to deal with that is to delay wake up, and then you take the plus range off the trap, and you have to guess right after it. You know, but it's really hard to defend against. And Ravelina, knowing that she can apply that. This early on is pretty smart. Okay, Goku, show us what you got. Great, my Krodak. What do we read from Ravenlina? Since yesterday, we've been seeing some illegal microdots from Ravenlina. Goku, what are we getting? Leave the situation. There we go. Wait a minute. Yeah, but even after this, Raps, Raven Lina still with a very decent life. Overhead. Goku needs one more opener. Is it going to be the overhead? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, he didn't go for the overhead. I would have gone for the overhead. I don't care. It, it, it hits everybody, right? Fight. Oh, that was good. Didn't punish, but Raven Lina gets the punish immediately, man. So clean with it. Good call out. Oh, that was filthy. That's the press. Honestly, I'll take that hard knock down over the invisibility mix up. Yeah, but all of a sudden, Raven Lena with some very decent reactions to these cancels and Goku feeding the pressure. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Rip, Bro, the rip, damage. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> 
not much of a Yo! challenge. Brutality. What in the mother is that? Katana wins. Remelina, you have to relax a little bit. That was 52%. Wait, so you can do EX fin lift into Janet Mimic Stance, right? Into Sento. Yo, that's crazy. That was off of like a like a jump three. Oh, that, that was, was beautiful. So there was some wow. sauce, yes. Oh. Wow. I was not familiar with your game, Raymond. Really <laughs> so you do jump three, EX fin, you then you call it Janet. And then you juggle with 1 1, and then Janet picks it back up, all of a sudden 52%. That was a Twitter clip. That definitely was a, a Twitter clip. I agree with that. And just like that, chat, it's time for our last match of the night. That means we are now switching over to the PC side where Maxiel and DJ are waiting for us. So with DJ, we have the strongest Kitana now on the PC side, just after watching Raven Lina on PlayStation. Fabs, what do you expect? Oh man, both the, uh, the, the fun part is that uh, DJ also like one of the like most insane Melina players that I've seen, man. This guy, we saw him in, the, in every single top 32 finals, he's there and he makes sure he's seen, okay? Um, no, no, maybe he's gonna go with his Jax. This Jax is still pretty crazy. He still hits those 50% combos with Jax. So, wouldn't be surprised if he goes Janet and goes crazy as well, though. I can't wait for Mixio. it. Oh, the thing is, though, Mixio loves, like, these diverse cameos. He's the only person that I know who, who plays, like, Darius on a regular. So, he might even give us, like, a Kenshi, Janet, maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Let's have a look at it together. Last match of the night incoming. Thank you guys so much for still being here with us, for supporting the entire project, and of course the competitive player base at the same time. The best community on this planet. And both of them are here with us. Let's dive right into the action. DJ versus Maxiel, the last showdown, at least for today. I'm hyped. These guys are diversity kings as well, you know? Oh, I see it. I see. I see it. The Kench piece. The cameo, though. What's the cameo? What's the cameo? What's the cameo? What's the cameo? Ooh. Janet Cage. So we he see goes in Janet and Darius. After Xiao's failed coup, far fewer. Wait, was it? I feel like he didn't go Darius. I feel like he did go Janet. I think this might be a double Janet. It's just that no, no, he's he, he kind of funny. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering because PC sometimes you know takes the update. Yeah, just just like we see here, the delay, the extended <laughs> stare down. Round one, fight. Let's go. Oh, he's so pretty. Facing from Maxiel. Yep, down one backdash. The Fujin game plan from MK11. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna sandwich. 2 1. Hard knocked on again. Lux the overhead. Doesn't take a turn. Does take a turn after. Really smart stuff there. And you see DJ trying to get the armor into Janet combo, which works. Here we go now. You have to be honest with Joe. Ooh, he almost with the same sauce. Backdash into mid. Do not counter poke. Any of these characters cannot be counter poked as easily. You have to be super careful when you try to take a turn back. Wave punish. Oh, again. It's hard to take your turn against uh, these two, man. A fake. A fake. <laughs> Dental sciences lessons. What the? That's what the? gonna get you killed. Great combo from DJ. Not enough, but there is the low poke. Must we continue? Round two. He tried to, you know, to catch uh, DJ off guard by doing that little block stand again, but DJ just knew that that is not safe. Ooh, we go. Darko S's. Where's Darius? I swear Where is to he? God, Fabs, when King of the Hill crossplay drops and we host another 2v2 tournament, if DJ and Raven Lena team up, this is going to be a devious team chat. This is going to be crazy. These guys are going to come to the world. Right? I say it right now. You're doing the, like, these 30 second combos. That's how they win. Oh, wait, you're gonna get zoned. This is so smart. Ooh, put the jump. 3 7. Nice. 
how, how did he find the gap just to poke immediately? The, like, imagine the balls you have if you have to poke on resummon. Just sweep as an anti air. Interesting option from DJ. That goes just right out. And now it is a man with no cameo, no projectiles, just vibes and a sword. 13% grab. No, 14% grab. Whoa. Ah, that was, I think that was a hard call out from DJ, expecting Maxiel not to jail immediately after the plus frames, but wrong decision, pays the price for it, one round, a piece here. Yeah, DJ had a, he could have jabbed, could have uh, poked, I think he tried to dash up grab or like trying to do a mid after, you cannot do a mid after that, sure. Ooh, speaking of mids! Nice. Fake. We broke your armor. Blender City. Nice stuff there. Uh, DJ does not impress with the armor, with, with, with the whole central situation. Careful, uncle's behind you. Are you still able to block in time? Call the back dash. Once again, DJ. Has the upper hand grabbed him out of another backdash attempt? Yeah, I mean, that dash was after poking, he was like minus eight, and nine. Ooh, just the overhead. Goes for it now. The hearts are lockable. Oh, that was filthy. Wait a minute. DJ is trying to chip Maxi down as much as possible, and that is going to be enough, I think. 14% of juicy Janet sponsor damage. DJ taking the lead. Gitano wins. I think we haven't even talked about the chat prediction here in this particular set. Let's take a look at it together. Right now, 70% on DJ. And 30% on Maxiel. Kenshi, Kitana, Darius, the Great Hall, Janet Cage. I misjudged you and your comrades. Zell in the chat is saying that he liked the card today. I have to say it was super, super, or it is super entertaining. And I like that we see quite some Janet action today as well. We talked about it in the beginning, Fabs. We weren't sure if our competitive players actually use the new cameo in tournament, but they do. Dude, it's been uh, doing some good work, man. I love this Janet from everybody. I still wasn't ready for Faisal's corner combo, though I have to say that once again. Yeah. <laughs> that shit caught me off guard. Also, even Lena hit a 50 burger. Wait. As we're speaking 50s, DJ almost hit one as well. Got these. Perhaps is there another competitive Kenshi player who uses Kenshi Darius? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Mixi was the only one. Yes, I think Mixi literally is years. the only one. I love that approach. It is like a very tricky team. That like a, like a player like Faisal would see Kenshi Darius and like start smiling because he loves fighting Ken Kenshi players, right? Uh, but you can catch a lot of people off guard, man, and just cook them. And speaking of catching people off guard, Maxiel got caught trying to counter poke. Some saucy corner combos from DJ. Ooh. Wait, that's gonna be punishable. Yes. Sandwich time. We get overhead, we get low. And the combo! The, I was mentioning that all the time during our Raven in the set. I was saying maybe she can combo from the armor. And you actually can. Very nice call out from DJ. 
And the whiff punish as well. Yep, you're not allowed to whiff in my face. 2-0 lead. Kitano wins. I cannot believe that we are halfway through week 4 already. I mean, the grand finals once again so close, right around the corner. And maybe everyone light up a candle for us. We get King of the Hill crossplay very, very soon. Maybe even for the next season. That would fix me, honestly. Kitana. Cinder. Janet King. Oh, I see a few leg spikes, but Maxil is bringing Sindel. And that's the least character costs. choice I expected. I I've never fail. seen him play that character. Like, every Kenshi player hates Sindel. <laughs> Mixi was like, you know what? I don't hate Sindel. I'm going to play Sindel. Round one. Fight. Chameleon as well. Ooh. Those, that mid is hatching. Maxiel's Everybody, yes. Maxi tried to backdash so many times and always got caught by DJ. Yo, 48 percent off of that? It's crazy. Oh, he blocked the first overhead. It's a double overhead, by the way. It is a double overhead. Oh, he tried to hit him with the low ball into the lip. Oh, wait, jump in. wait. Fatal, do we spend it? I mean, why not? Oh, he's saving it, he's saving it, he's saving it. That jails, by the way. Ooh. Keep it unbreakable, keep it unbreakable. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I think an unbreakable could have killed that as well. If you just spent for fireballs, maybe. He's ready for these uh, full skin situations that Mitch was approaching with. We say it all the time. In my opinion, DJ is one of the best Kitana players in the entire world. Like, literally. Yeah. This dude is crazy. I'm so happy that he is competing here because I think DJ joined us for the first time in season three back then. So, but not that long. Long ago. Yeah, I think probably best Kitana on PC as well, you know? I don't, get, I, I don't think I see a single Kitana on PC that, like, Lives up to his name. Smash to black. Final round. Fight. I saw the uplock attempt. Good tech from Exil saying, get off me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this button is causing nightmares tonight on Maxil's oh. end. It's just footies, man. It's just footies. Nice block, the punish, and this might be the That is go. gonna be all she wrote. DJ with an outstanding performance here in our last showdown of the night. Congratulations, Maxio, thank you so much for playing, of course, as well. I think I speak for everyone when I say every single set today was super entertaining to watch. We saw some great variety, a lot of Janet Cage use as well, which was a little bit unexpected. But of course, we are more than happy about it. Fabs, give us your opinion. Did you enjoy the show, brother? Every set was a banger. Every player here played out of their minds. And I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to come and hit another <laughs> one with you guys. You know? and Beautiful. We're always happy to have you as well. So just like that, what we're going to do now is we're going to send you over to the boy Honeybee, especially after that performance today. The arena is going to return tomorrow with another competitive qualifier. You guys know the deal at this point. Cannot wait to see you guys back. Have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wherever you're watching from. Stay safe and we're going to catch you very, very soon. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks for being here today.